So over the weekend, you're uh, the Yankees Rangers had a weekend series, like I just talked about. Um, yep. The Yankees walked off on Sunday. Yeah, on Glaber Sunday, Torres. game one of a doubleheader. Game one, yeah. Yeah, Glaber Torres hit a home run to right field, and Rangers manager Chris Woodward says that Yankee Stadium is a little league park, and that would have been an easy out in ninety nine percent of parks. Well, first, Brig, as a Yankees fan, like, what do you? <laughs> I'm curious what you think about that. Uh, first, first and foremost, I'll say the same thing. It's the, it's been the same dimensions for a long time. So stop complaining about it. Like it's not going to change. It's never been different. Everybody always comes with this wiffle ball and little league park crap about the short porch and right. Is it short? Yes, it is. Should you complain about it? No, because you profit from exactly the same circumstances as everybody else who plays at Yankee Stadium. Just because exactly. you're not in pinstripes. So I think it was Michael Kay on the on the broadcast today. He's like, it's not. It's not like that wall has wheels on it. You're not no. going to send it out for the away team, bring it in. For, no, everybody gets no. to benefit from the por- short, from the short porch. And this is one of my things. Everybody talks about the short porch at Yankee Stadium. Nobody talks about 309 or 306 or whatever it is down the line at Fenway. Exactly. That's a routine fly ball in yeah. most places. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I. <laughs> Like who cares? Well, and here's the thing is it, because that's exactly what happened, if I'm not mistaken, is that in game two, they did come back in short porch one. The Rangers did. Oh, I'm sure they so did. Everybody it's does. like whatever. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So the Chris Woodward came back and he was like, nah, I was just kidding. Yeah, because they benefited. It's a beautiful from park. It. And because people like, were upset with what he said. Yeah. It's, it's a, a cathedral. Park. It's a cathedral. Oh, yeah. Which it is but a cathedral of baseball. But my it God, is, definitely. Just come on, dude. One of the things that I think is funny, though, is Aaron Boone took exception to the comment. He goes, well, his math is wrong. 99% yeah. is impossible. There's only 30, there are only 30 parks. And <laughs> uh, and I did the math on it. The best you can do is 96.7%. So yeah. if he really wants to get him next time, he can say, well, in 96.7% of parks, that's yeah. that's an easy out. <laughs> <laughs> but I this was... That was... That was petty all the way <laughs> it around. It was petty. This was this is another good one, though. So I have an overlay for you, Brig. I pulled this off of uh, Baseball Savant today because I, okay. I was really curious. So this is that home run, that Glaber Torres home run at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Okay, you can see it right here. There's the dot on it. And uh, clearly gone. Well, the Rangers play at Globe Life Park. And you oh, know what, wow. Brig? <laughs> It's a home run there as well. So. Oh, you sure is. <laughs> it sure is, Chris. It's not as far out, but nonetheless, it is in home run territory. So come on now. Oh, my god. Maybe is, so is Globe Life Park also a Little League stadium? Yeah, that's what I want to know now. I don't know. That's but... good. That's real good. <laughs> I thought it was funny, though. I thought that <laughs> I thought that was really good because I was really curious about where that ball would have landed in Texas. I just don't think 369 foot home run should be questioned very often. No, no, it was a home. It would have been a home run in 26, 30 parks in that location. Yeah. So, so it's uh, amazing. Just shut up and hold your pictures accountable. Maybe. 